Hi, I'm Dr. Epstein. I'm with a patient today who's around 10 weeks status post rhinoplasty. Uh, happens to be African American ethnicity. That's the only identifying characteristics I'll give of her <laughs> so that she can stay anonymous. Anyway, her main complaint she had uh, very, um, she wanted to preserve her ethnic features, which we all agree is important, but at the same time she was concerned about the width of her nostrils that especially accentuated when she smiled and you can see how wide her her nasal tip appears on smile. She has a pretty smile but this really became the focus is that very wide nostril area and you can see the before um, another before view. What I did for her was a combination of, of refining the tip, narrowing the nostrils and you can see her here um, and you can see how nicely she's healed up in the greater symmetry. Now she's still a little bit off. But there's 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 just a limit to the amount of symmetry that I can create. But you can see if we look down at the bottom view, uh, she had an external approach. You can't even find the incisions, barely if at all perceptible. And I also made incisions inside the nostrils to go ahead and and deal with the um, you know the nostril narrowing. And you can see I was able to bring it in quite nicely. Go ahead and smile for me. And you see when she smiles. Now she still has some wide. Uh, but um, at the same time she goes ahead and it's 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 a more refined look anyway as I said she's around 10 weeks post-op we may want to do a little touch-up at some point just to bring in one of her other nostrils to create a little more symmetry but that was the challenge in her was that she did have this asymmetry anyway she's happy and uh, she was nice enough to sit for the video and um, thank you this is Dr. Epstein